Hello Aquarius, this is Deborah, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance, and this is going to be your reading for mid-September 2020. Guys, how do we get to mid-September? <laughs> it is so great to be with you. Thank you for being here. Thank you if you are a regular. Thank you if you are new. Um, so Aquarius, oh wow, very powerful energy, very powerful energy for you. Michael's been showing me um, the image of a monk with a wand and I'm, I'm being shown the magician card, which is usually Gemini, Virgo or Scorpio energy. But you could also be embodying the energy of the Divine Masculine. Um, you could also be encompassing the energy pertaining to moving into the magician. OK. Archangel Michael's also been showing me images relating to flight. And in meditation, I heard the words, you are flying high. I also heard the words, you're ready to take off. There is something here about dropping a weight, because Michael also showed me a ship dropping an anchor, heavy metal anchor, and moving. Um, he also showed me images of birds in a circle, flying in a circle, um, Yes. And then dissipating. So birds flying in a circle and then dissipating. I'm just hearing the words being rechanneled back to me from Michael. So there's a sense of letting something go, wanting to move forward and feeling as if you don't want to waste any more time. There's a sense of I just don't want to be sitting here wasting any more time. You want to get on the move. You want to progress. You want to just head forward but there's a lot of speed and a lot of push forward that not only you are wanting to you know you're pushing yourself forward but also you feel as if someone an unseen force is pushing you forward as well okay almost as if the divine is on your side yes the divine is on your side okay sorry guys michael's telling me the light's very very right in the reading i don't know if it is um i apologize if it is hmm okay he's saying it's being sorted okay fine i'm just going to leave it like that um so aquarius let's just shift into this reading and see where it takes us okay my two guides are here angela and rose um a little boy that i sent to the light a few weeks ago cedric is with me um <laughs> He's about six or seven. He's wearing a, um, a tweed cap. Um, he's here by my side. Very sweet. I work as a medium, if you didn't know as well. And I do send lost souls to the light. Okay, so Archangel Michael, thank you for your guidance. Can we please have your message for my beautiful Aquarians? Mid-September 2020. I'm now seeing a man sitting on a sofa putting his feet up. He's doing some calculations, sorting out his money. Um, calculating how fast he can move forward. Someone who is definitely planning something, whether it's you or this man, Aquarius. Okay, Michael's telling me this man is the Aquarius. Okay. Ooh, okay. The sun card zoomed out. Someone could, somebody could be planning something or want to plan something with this card. Sun, can you see that? I don't know why it's all blurry. It's very unusual because it's never been blurry before. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Wow. The lights are changing around me. I don't know whether or not you've experienced that. There's something here. Okay, Michael's telling me illumination, illumination, illumination. He's telling me to put it back. Someone here is being illuminated. That's why my lighting has been strange. Michael's telling me someone has been. Wow, someone's gone going through an awakening. OK. Somebody's been going through an awakening. OK. Wow. All right. Um, thank you. So Archangel Michael, can we have your message, please? Okay, strength card came through in the upright as well. Another sign of Leo. 
Okay, something's been illuminated about a Leo. Very strong energy with the sun and the strength card zoom out of nowhere. My goodness, okay. That card moved. The Hermit, interesting, interesting. Virgo energy, somebody's going through the dark night of the soul. Having dropped a dead weight and wants to move forward very quickly. Yes, wants to move forward very quickly. Aquarius, I think this is you. I think I'm dealing with a male Aquarius who has dropped an anchor, a dead weight, is going through spiritual awakening, is understanding. I'm hearing the power of the divine, the power of manifestation. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hearing prayer, meditation. Heading towards your happiness, heading towards your stability. Yes, hoping for enlightenment. Wow. Yes, there's contemplation, Aquarius, about the weight that you have dropped. Contemplation. Okay. Um, there's also a sense of I now see. Once I was blind, now I can see. Very strong awakening energy. Yes. Ready to move forward. Ready to power forward. Another energy of Leo shown there. Okay, we also have Gemini, Cancerian energy in particular. A lot of Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. Underneath the deck, Queen of Cups. So, Aquarius, you could be thinking about moving forward towards... A Queen of Cups who could in the past have been very disappointed that this wasn't a relationship or you could have let go of an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And I'm so sorry, I'm hearing dead weight. I love my earth signs. My mum is Taurus, Taurus Moon. Um, No disrespect to anyone, okay? But whoever this Aquarius is has possibly disconnected from an earth sign. Sorry, guys, I'm getting a lot of energy with the cards. Mm. Okay, under that, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. A withholding of commitment to someone. Michael's been showing me someone. Michael, can we get into this vision, please? Okay, he's showing me a hang glider standing on the top of a cliff, waiting for the next air current, waiting for a strong gust of wind for him to take off, for him to move forward, for him to, and I'm hearing, take the plunge. That's interesting. There's a plane that's just gone over outside. Yes, before you can lift off, you need to wait. Michael's also saying that you are not strong enough yet. Someone has become, is feeling weak because they're going through this dark night of the soul. Someone doesn't have the inner confidence yet. Michael's saying time is needed. Okay, this could be a very intense reading, my goodness, Aquarius. I hope the lighting sorted itself out. Um, that was strange. Let's move in. We start with the night, and I'm feeling very nervous all of a sudden, and quite hot, weird, Nine of Cups. Uh, what I'm actually hearing is penance for penance for past behaviour. And again, I apologise, that's what I'm hearing, I can't do anything about that. Penance for past behaviour. Someone here, Aquarius, either you or the cross watcher, feels a little bit guilty for what happened in the past. Maybe some you said something to someone, you lied to some to someone about a situation, you weren't open and honest. This is overindulgence. It can be a little bit of overdrinking in particular with all these cups. But for me, this is third party. This is symbolic of someone in a connection who kind of steps out and has a lot of other options that they want to delve into. OK, 
want to try other varieties, but I'm keeping hold of this cup, okay? Crossing that is the Knight of Wands. Now, what I'm getting here, Aquarius, is someone who is feeling, and again, you can feel I'm a bit shaky, right? Someone who was feeling a bit guilty for what happened in the past. Maybe they acted rashly, impulsively, based on sexual energy. Aquarius, you've got to be connected with a younger fire sign. But I'm also getting the energy of, I want to shift myself away from this energy. I want to... I want to do right by you. I want to do right by you. Aquarius, you're speaking to someone through me. I want to do right by you. I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry for what I said. Okay, I'm now hearing received karma. So, yeah, you might have received some karma, Aquarius. You know, your partner might have found out that you were maybe um, seeing someone else within, within a connection. And they ended it with you and kind of everything fell apart. But with that karma, there's a dropping of burden or there were there, there was a dropping of burden. Feeling free, feeling released, feeling the weight off you. And a sense of also understanding that at some point it was going to happen as well. I know that I was going to have to deal with this at some point is what's coming through. In the past, Aquarius, with the energy of the lovers, you could have been connected to a Gemini, you could have Gemini in your chart, or you could have had a choice between two people, or you met someone where there was a very powerful, spiritual, emotional, sexual connection with someone that was unlike any other connection, and it might have totally thrown you. You might have thought to yourself, holy shit, what is this? This is just unreal. I don't understand what's happening to me. Why am I thinking about this person all the time? Um, but I'm feeling, Aquarius, that for those of you I'm connecting with, maybe one or two people, maybe just one, the, the energy was so powerful, so intense, that you withdrew from it because you almost couldn't cope with it. You almost couldn't deal with it. This might have been you meeting someone that you realised you might have had a past life with. Maybe at the time you didn't believe in that. You didn't know, know what that was all about. For some of you, you might have met your divine twin. And it shook you to your core, is what I'm hearing. Michael, show me the tower card. It shook you to your core. And you realise the energy that you were sitting in at the time was shallow energy. There was no substance. There was no depth. This could be you thinking about a karmic relationship. There's nothing there. I now realise what love really is, what the power of that emotion is all about. And I want it. And I want to delve into it. But Aquarius, you didn't. What did you do? You ran from it. You ran from it. Because of fear. Eight of Swords. I can't cope. I don't know what this is all about. I don't understand why this connection feels so. And I'm hearing the word intoxicating. I am just intoxicated by this energy. Almost to the point of not being able to breathe. I'm actually seeing somebody trying to catch their breath, trying to calm their energy, feeling breathless, breath, well, breathlessly in love, breathlessly in love. Okay. I need to take a breath. I need to just calm my energy. Oh my God, what is happening to me? Fear. But that fear, Aquarius, also kept you stuck. Because you were fearful of taking action on this energy. You were also fearful of making a choice. And because of that, you ran. Yes, you ran. I'm feeling now with the Knight of Wands over that energy of the Nine of Cups. You're swiftly wanting to move yourself away from toxic energy, whether that's a relationship you're in, you want to get out of. I think for some of you, you've already started that process. For some of you, and forgive me for saying this, guys, you're wanting to just be a better person. Okay? Whether that's, you know, 
um, giving up on overspending, maybe drinking too much at the weekend, maybe not being honest with people around you. You're just shifting into what Michael is showing me, the energy of the hermit, which is so pure and spiritual. And it's because you're going through an awakening. You're understanding that the path that you have been destined to walk is a clean path. It is linked to the divine. And you are wanting to be worthy of that path. Worthy of that person. Worthy of this love. Okay. Okay. Got it. Thank you, Michael. Worthy of this love from the past. Cleaning up your act, Aquarius. Okay. What is in your thoughts? Ace of Cups. Overflowing love. A divine love. A love that is intoxicating. A love that makes you feel breathless. A love that will never die, is what I'm hearing. Searching, reaching, wanting that love. Michael's saying, no, the search is over. He's crossing out searching in my head as a word. So you found that love, Aquarius. You're now doing all you can to be worthy of that love. Michael, when do we have the card in the immediate future, please? When does that come through? Beginning of November. Really? I'm questioning. Beginning of November. He's nodding at me. Okay. Beginning of November. I would say usually, yes, Michael's saying end of October, beginning of November. Within that two-week period, roughly, four swords. This is meditation, this is prayer, this is healing, this is shifting your energy onto a path of light is what I'm hearing. Shifting your energy onto a path of light, understanding that things happened for a reason, understanding destiny is real, understanding karma is real, and wanting to be worthy. There is a sense of heartbreak. This may be heartbreak in making a decision between two people but it's also rest recuperation maybe you're just tired and weary going through the dark night of the soul which i've gone through many other readers have gone through some of you have as well you are flawed with exhaustion it's your body's reaction to ascension and so you could be feeling super tired right now aquarius you could also be having very intense dreams. You could be getting flashbacks of what you said to people, what you did to people, um, maybe things that you felt badly about. And you're understanding that you want to live a cleaner life, a simpler life. No drama, no stress, no burden. You just want to be you in its purest form and you're working on that. Releasing toxic patterns, behavior, negative energy, people around you who have been difficult. Michael's saying that you are going to learn a final lesson before ascension. And it's coming up. Michael's saying it's about materialism. It's about money. It's about the toxic weight of money. Wow, the toxic weight of money. Michael's showing at me um, an old chest full of gold coins at the bottom of the ocean and a diver who was desperately trying to dive down to carry the gold up to the surface. But the problem is, Michael, this vision is very strong. The gold is weighing this man down and he's gasping for breath. He can't get all the gold up to the surface because it's too heavy and if he stays under the surface, he will die. Weighed down by, by materialism is what I'm hearing. And I'm hearing uh, you don't need it all. You don't need it all. Release, release. In your environment is someone that you're dealing with. I think this is someone that you are 
deciding you want to let go of, but it's difficult. They're sat in the Seven of Pentacles. They have their back turned to you and they are looking at the money. You are sitting in quiet contemplation about your life, what you want for the future. I have to say, this could be somebody who is an earth sign. This could be somebody who is all about the money. No judgment on earth signs. It could be anyone else. It could be a fire sign, an air sign, a water sign. But they are embodying the energy of this card, which is earth energy, materialism. I am keeping hold of the money. I want a good life. I want a life of luxury. And I want you, wow, and I want you to provide it for me. Okay. You could be understanding, Aquarius, that you've been sitting in a connection with someone who wants you for the wrong reasons, who wants to stay in a connection for security, but the love may not be there anymore. You may already know this, which is why perhaps potentially you stepped out on the connection because it wasn't fulfilling you. Maybe you knew deep down in your heart, even though you didn't want to admit it to yourself, that you were with someone who didn't have good intentions, who didn't love you the way that you wanted to be loved, that you felt you should be loved. And that caused a growth. Michael showed me a ball of light that's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and turning red. That I think it caused you a lot of pain and hurt. I think you felt angry. And I think it just built and built and built and built to the point where you almost wanted to just explode. And I'm feeling very tearful, guys. Wow, sorry. Now, maybe with the energy of the lovers, you found someone that you realised didn't want you for financial security, didn't want you for any other reason except to exchange the energy of pure love, is what I'm hearing, to exchange the energy of pure love. And you were intoxicated by this because it, it was alien to you, totally alien to you. But you realised what you'd been missing Yes. In your fears, six of swords, so fearful of moving on, fearful of leaving a past behind. Fearful of taking those lessons with you into your new life. Michael's telling me to say to you, it's very important that you do take those lessons with you. They're important lessons and you had to learn those lessons for a reason. It's important that... You understand why you had to learn those lessons. In your hopes, hoping to embrace the fear of moving forward. Hoping also to reach the depth of your emotions. The moon is a lot of deep energy. The moon is also the energy of Cancerian. You could be hoping to leave behind a Cancerian. You could be hoping to move forward towards a Cancerian. But this is you, Aquarius, dropping that weight. Interesting, right? Ten of Wands. I just can not struggle with this anymore. And again, Michael's showing me the image of that diver trying to clutch hold of gold, heavy gold coins and trying to swim up to the surface and just not managing it and running out of air. This is you, Aquarius, understanding you have to let go of any thoughts of amassing wealth. Wow. In order to be worthy, to be accepted through the gates of heaven. This is someone definitely going through a spiritual ascension. I'm feeling very powerful energy here. Someone moving from the shadow into the light and understanding that they actually want to. I think you've been fighting this for quite a while, Aquarius. You've been really fighting it. But you've been so unhappy underneath, so unhappy, that I think this is almost a relief. And I think if you have to let go of money, a partner that's unfulfilling, and just clean out your energy. I think this is where you are now. And I think you're, you're embracing it. So, three of wands. This, I think, is what you're going through right now. Three of wands, dropping the burden. Letting the past go. Standing with your back to your past. 
wanting that change. Interestingly, we've got a ship and water. Some of you could be wanting to relocate. Some of you could be wanting to travel to see someone. Because with the two of swords in reverse, the blindfolds come off. You've seen the truth. You're no longer blocking your emotions. You're understanding what you're going through. You're also understanding what you are wanting and what you deserve. So you may be planning on seeing someone, connecting with someone, talking to a karmic partner, visiting a karmic partner, trying to calculate your finances. How much would I have to let go of to leave? How much would I have to walk away from? Emotionally, you're standing at crossroads. You are in between worlds. You're moving from the shadow to the light. You're going through this ascension, dark night of the soul. You're allowing your soul to be purified through meditation and prayer. And you are contemplating your next move forward. With the Six of Wands, you could be thinking about the energy of success, materialism, being recognised, being admired, looked up to. You could be looking at your own mask, Aquarius, and wondering how people have seen you all these years. You could be contemplating moving forward towards someone who is embodying the Six of Wands. This can be somebody in the public eye, somebody who's well known, somebody who's very successful. Do I make a move towards this person or not? First of all, I've got to drop the weight, knowing that. May have to lose money, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. But also this is you standing still. This is very interesting energy, Aquarius. I feel you with the Queen of Pentacles energy. Sorry, Michael's saying this is your karmic partner. You are letting go of a karmic partner, but you're not quite sure whether or not you should offer a connection to this Queen of Cups. You are withholding this right now. Because you may be either trying to balance your money, you may also be needing to spend some time contemplating what you want for the future. Powerful reading, Aquarius. Let's delve in. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Four of Swords, please, for my Aquarians? What is the energy of the Four of Swords? I think this is an awakening. I think you're going through an awakening and you're contemplating letting go of someone because, that way, because I'm feeling you just want a brand new cycle. You want a new life. You want to shift yourself forward. Wow, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you want to let go of an unfulfilling marriage, I'm feeling. Being all about financial st security, stability. But you realise you're unhappy, there's a cobweb there. You don't enjoy being there. You don't want to be there anymore. You're contemplating letting this go. How much money am I going to lose? Yeah, you might have been not particularly honest in the past about maybe your feelings, maybe self-denial. Okay tower scorpionic energy this is you going through your awakening things are crashed to the front to the ground to the floor not feeling very balanced maybe feeling as if life has been unjust but now awakening to understanding why could be connected to a libra who's left your life or you're contemplating leaving a libra or you are ending a legal contract which could be a marriage Yes, because with a Wheel of Fortune, you feel suddenly now this is why this all had to happen. Yes, under the deck, again, the Hermit. Yeah, Dark Knight of the Soul. Yeah. So, Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Seven of Pentacles, please? I'm hearing money, 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 money.
I'm hearing Scorpio again. Um, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody may be understanding that you are close to asking for a divorce. Six of Pentacles, though, is you, Aquarius, giving money to your karmic partner. That's what they're wanting. Look at these outstretched hands. Okay. The world, they don't want this to end. Yes, you could be connected to a Taurus, or this is someone you're married to. But they don't want this love. Aquarius, they don't want this love. They want the money. And I'm so sorry, cross watchers, but this really may well not be your story. Okay, you remember there are a lot of you out there. Yeah, death card in reverse, flipped out. You could be connected to a Scorpio, or this is someone who doesn't want a cycle to end. Okay, doesn't want a cycle to end. Archangel Michael, what is the Ten of Wands, please? Let's just quickly finish this. I think you're deciding if I have to leave it all behind, I'm going to leave it all behind. I just want to go. I just want to go. I just want to go. And it's the truth that you're going to be telling yourself. I just want to go. Coming out of any inner conflict, I think, Aquarius, and wanting to move forward. Wanting to move forward. Okay. I think you're going to be taking action. I think you're going to let someone go. It could be a karmic partner. And I think you're just moving towards your happiness. Okay? I think you're going to be speaking your truth. And you're going to be progressing. Yes. Yes. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I've got to let a burden go before I offer someone commitment. This is also you letting a lump sum of money go. Yes, breaking free. Clarity. I just needed to drop the weight. Two aces. Five of wands. Okay, arguments and disagreements die down in the future about what you're about to do. No more inner conflict. You are taking action, moving into the energy of the emperor. You could have Aries in your chart. Dropping the energy of a karmic partner who wasn't giving, loving, nurturing, someone very codependent, somebody who played the victim. Could be a Taurus. Yep. If I have to lose the money, I have to lose the money. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, ending a long-term situation. Taking some kind of legal action, or well, this is your energy, King of Swords. What I love about this, Aquarius, this is truth, honest communication. This is you growing to the energy of the King, wanting to do the right thing. Okay, and look at that, the magician. Manifesting change, realising how powerful you are. Nothing else to say. I'm going to leave it there. If this was your re your reading, your story, do reach out, debraclare.com, and I'll be back before you know it with your next reading. Take care, guys. Bye now.